Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating your very own Rust server. If you're brand spanking new to the channel, consider subscribing and turn on notification bells so that you get notified as soon as I upload new content. If you take any value out of this video or it helps you in any way whatsoever, make sure you smash that like button for me. It helps me out a lot, makes the YouTube algorithm really happy, yada yada yada. All right, so today we're going to be talking about a topic that I didn't really understand that people were struggling with. Checking on my comment section and the many, many comments that I get in my Discord, this is clearly something that we need to talk about. And that is oxide groups and the ways that I teach to manage oxide groups. So when I'm talking about groups, you can define different groups of players in your server with different permissions, with different tags beside their name, with different kits accesses. There's tons of different things that you can do for each individual group. So for those that don't understand, there's always going to be at least one group on your server. As soon as you start up a server, you immediately have one group and that group is called default. That default group will include every single player that ever joins your server. So why does that matter? So if you're applying permissions to different groups of players and you want every single person that comes into your server to have access to a certain plugin, let's say for example, the recycler plugin, then you would grant that permission to the group called default. But let's say we don't want the default group to have access to that plugin, but we only want our VIPs to have access or our admins or our moderators or whatever group it is that you decide that you want to have access to this plugin. So how do we make it so that the default group of players doesn't have access to it, but your specified group does, that being admins, moderators, VIPs, whatever it is that you decide. Well, we do that by setting up Oxide groups. Oxide by itself has the ability to create groups and I can show, in fact, I'll put it in the video description down below. There's a bunch of different Oxide commands that you can use that will allow you to create groups, change group names, etc., etc. But I much prefer to use a plugin that that manages Oxide groups instead. And for that, I use a plugin called Better Chat. Now I've done tutorials on this in the past. If you wanna check that one out, click on the card in the top right-hand corner, it'll take you to that video. It's one of my first videos way back almost a year ago. So bear in mind, the quality is not quite there, but whatever, the content is the same. So for today's video, I'm going to install Better Chat and I'm gonna show you how I use that plugin in order to manage my groups. Okay, so here we are on the UMod website and we're at the Better Chat page. As you can see here, there are a ton of different plugins out there that actually will utilize Better Chat and integrate with, and there's tons of different things that you can do. For today, we're not gonna get into any of that. I just want to show you the group management aspect of Better Chat. I use this all the time, just about on a daily basis with any one of my seven servers that I have up and running right now. But just know that there's a ton of different plugins that will utilize Better Chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this and install it on the test server and I'll meet up with you when that's done. So as you can see there, Better Chat was compiled successfully and loaded the plugin Better Chat by Laser Hydra. So now we know that Better Chat is actually on the server and functioning the way that we would expect it to. But what does that do for us? Well, let's just check on a couple of things first. So by using the, the oxide command o.show groups, it's gonna show any of the existing groups that we have on this server. So as you can see from previous tutorials, I have admin, VIP, moderator, all, VIP++, VIP1, etc., etc. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these groups on here right now so that we're starting from fresh. Okay, so now I've gone through and removed all of these groups as you can see there. And now I've done o.show groups again and I only have default and admin, which is fine. That's We can start out with that. When you first install Better Chat, though, you won't have any of these other Oxide groups in there. These are just artifacts from previous tutorials that I've done in the past. That's why I went through and removed them so that it will look exactly the same as it will for you. With one caveat there, you may not actually have this admin group or you might. I've seen it go both ways. Sometimes it automatically generates that admin group. Other times it doesn't. I'm not really sure why it decides sometimes it will and sometimes it won't. So if you don't have the admin group there, you're going to want to make sure that you add that in. So, so far, all you've seen me do is oxide commands. I'm not actually using the better chat plugin yet. So now I'm going to start showing you some better chat commands to create groups. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a group called VIP one. Now you need to decide how many different levels of whichever group it is that you're starting to create, because it's important that you designate a level system if you're going to have more than one. So for example, if we wanted to have more than one VIP group, we would have to designate a number with it so that we knew which group we were talking about. So for right now, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to re-add those groups that you saw me remove earlier. I'm just going to go in and add VIP one, two, and three. 
Now we've successfully added the groups called VIP1, VIP2, and VIP3. And we can use this exact same process for however many different groups we want. So in this example, I'm just doing VIP, but you can literally do whatever you want here. Let's say you had a group of geriatric people join your server and you wanted to designate their own group of geriatric so that you could give them different permissions or different abilities in your server that would give them an advantage over the younger players that are in your server. There's thousands of different reasons why you might want to set up a different group. Use your own creativity. And I can't tell you what's going to work on your server or even tell you what you might need on your server. Only you can know that. I'm just going to tell you exactly how to do it. So now that we have these groups created, well, what good does that do us? Let's have a look at the oxide command and see what this now shows us for oxide groups, even though we've done this with the better chat plugin. So we can enter the command o.show groups, and this is going to show all of the oxide groups, even though, like I said, we've created them using better chat. So there we go. As expected, we have default, we have admin, we have VIP one, two, and three. So let me just clarify that because I don't want anybody to get confused. We are creating oxide groups, which you can use a specific set of oxide commands that will allow you to create groups. But what we're doing today is we're using the better chat plugin that will manipulate the oxide commands and create oxide groups using better chat. And I'm going to explain why that's important. There is some formatting that better chat allows you to do or, or more extensive formatting that better chat allows you to do than oxide will allow you to do. So that I can show you exactly what I'm talking about, let's go into the better chat data file, not the config file, the data file. Okay, so here we are in the better chat data file. As you can see here, we've got some familiar faces. So we've got our group name called default. And if we scroll down a bit, we'll have VIP one, we'll have VIP two, VIP three, as well as the admin group are all inside of our better chat data file. Let's just scroll up to group called default. And let's just go over a couple of different things here. So this is what I was talking about as far as the formatting goes of our group names. So this section right here, this text is what you want to have displayed next to any of the players that are within this group. And I'm sure you've all been on a server before where anytime you type in public chat, it says player in brackets next to your name. I for one absolutely hate it that some server owners leave that by default. I absolutely hate it. It just looks so careless to me. It looks to me like they threw the plugin called better chat onto their server and they never did anything with it after that. It just seems careless to me. It's part of those details that are important that set you apart from everyone else. And as you can see there, if we go into our test server, that's exactly what it looks like. It just says player next to my name and then it says my name and then whatever it says in chat. Super annoying. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. I, I don't know, maybe that's just me. So we can actually change what is said next to the player's name, or we can make it not say anything at all. If we just change this hidden right here, if we change this to true, that'll make it so that nothing is shown next to that name, which is exactly what it would look like on a vanilla Rust server that doesn't have any Oxide plugins or anything like that involved. You can see why this is important. Sometimes you wanna have better chat installed on your server so that you can utilize the features of it, but maybe you don't want anyone to know that it's there. So now we can make all of these tags and titles invisible in public chat by simply changing this to true on each one of our groups. One of the most important sections of this data file is the admin group. So let's say you as the server owner are actually a member of this admin group, but you don't want anyone to know that you're an admin, which is fair and it's a good idea. I think you should keep your admin status top secret. As I've always said, and I've said it to many of you before, the best admin is the admin that nobody knows is there. So I would certainly suggest that you change the admin group hidden tag to Okay, so now we've moved back up to the default group again. I just wanted to get that admin section taken care of right away. So the rest of this stuff is going to apply across all of the different groups that you create. You can change the color of their name. You can change the color of the text when they type in public chat. You have all sorts of controls here. By default, this is just gonna look like vanilla chat, but you, you can change all of these colors here. And it, it makes your chat look you know different from everyone else's, if that's what you're going for. If you want vanilla chat, just leave it at default. The only other section that we're going to deal with here is if you are going to display your players tags, that's what this section is right here. So the text beside their name. So this is exactly how it's going to look. It's going to be open bracket VIP one close bracket. That's pretty cheesy. That's how we entered it when we were using the console commands was VIP one, but we want to make them feel special. We want to make them feel more important than just a generic looking VIP one tag. So let's change this up a little bit. 
Okay, so I've gone through and changed a couple of things. I've now changed my VIP one to VIP silver level. I've also put it inside of a different type of bracket. I've changed the color of our VIP tag to like a silvery, almost green color. I've also changed the username that shows up in chat to a very green color. And I've changed their messaging color to yellow. So let's see what this all looks like inside of a real application. So we're gonna jump into the test server and I'm gonna show you how all of this has now affected things. But before I do that, I have to save this file. I also have to reload it so that it grabs the new information from the config and the data file. So o.reload with a better chat with a capital B and a capital C, of course, as always. And that unloaded and reloaded, no problem. So let's go into the test server and actually see how we've affected these changes. So now if I type in text, remember, I'm still part of the group called default. So technically nothing has changed yet, but we should no longer see the brackets with player next to my name. We'll just do a quick test chat. And there we go. That's exactly how we wanted it to look. It no longer says player next to my name, but I am still part of that group called default. So let's see what happens if I add myself to VIP level one. So there are some console commands that we can use in order to add a member to a specific group. But today I'm going to show you how to do it using admin menu from chaos code. If you're interested in seeing how I deal with this stuff on a regular basis, I have a video covering admin menu as well as permissions manager. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube card in the top right hand corner right now. Make sure you check out that video. It is a very powerful video when you start getting into dealing with groups as well as permissions as you will. So let's do slash admin. Let's go into groups and then user groups. And I'm going to select myself. And this is now showing me which groups I am currently a member of, which is admin and default, of course. And I want to add myself to, to the group called VIP one. And we can just close this out. Now, if I write test in chat, this is going to determine if all of that stuff that we did to the better chat data file is actually taking effect. Okay, so as you can see there, it changed my VIP tag to the silver color that I was talking about. However, it didn't change my name and it didn't change my text. So let's go back and have a look at that. Okay, so I found the problem. I know what happened there. So there is a priority level that is built into better chat. And this is getting into a bit more complicated stuff and definitely not something that I meant to cover in this video. However, I'm just going to touch on it here real quick because it is important to realize what happened. So by default, all of the different groups that you create using better chat are assigned a priority level of zero, which is the highest priority level possible within that plugin. So what I needed to do is actually go in and change the priority level of the group called default to a, technically a higher number, but a lower priority. So I changed my priority level of default group to nine while leaving the priority level of the VIP group at zero, which is again, the highest priority level possible. So then I just saved, reloaded the plugin. Let's go back into the server and see if it actually took effect. So now when we write test in the server chat, now our tag is VIP silver in silver. My name is showing up as the dark green that I specified earlier. And my text is now coming out, like what I'm saying is now coming out in yellow. So this is very much going to stand out in the midst of other members that are chatting in your server, your VIP are going to stand out amongst those other chatters. So you can see why this would be valuable. So strangely enough, and it's funny how this always happens, the concept of this video was just how to create different groups using better chat. Now we've gone into kind of a, a little bit more of an advanced tutorial on better chat itself. These are all very important features and it is stuff that you're going to use once you've learned how to use it because it it's powerful stuff. So if you have some experience with better chat, let me know what you're doing with better chat. Leave it in the comment section down below. I'd like to see some of the different ideas that people are actually making use of better chat with as well as oxide groups. We all know that pretty standard procedure to use oxide groups for having VIP, but what else are you guys using it for? Okay, I hope this tutorial helps out some some viewers. I know there were a lot of people struggling with the whole you know wrapping your head around oxide groups and how I use better chat to actually manage my oxide groups and I think there was getting to be a little bit of a disconnect there I'm not sure how that happened definitely on me not on you as the viewer I just wasn't explaining myself well enough 
If you guys haven't already done so, make sure you join the Discord. I'm also going to put a link to it in the video description down below. We now have just over 500 members in that Discord and everyone there is either really eager to help out or they know how to get you the answers that you're looking for. So if you're having any issues with your server, Oxide, UMod, any specific plugins, make sure you join that Discord because there's a ton of people in there that want to help you out. And speaking of help, if you want to help support me and this channel, make sure you check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash srtbull. And while while you're helping out the channel and increasing my ability to bring you better and better content there are some perks for you you get dedicated server roles you get your own private discord chat channel that is basically just me as well as any other patreons there are plus you get your name mentioned in all upcoming future videos so again if you want to help me bring you better and better content each week make sure you check out patreon.com slash and as promised, this list on the right hand side of the screen right now is my current list of Patreon. I think there's 12 Patreons right there. So a huge shout out to the Patreons that already have joined. I super appreciate it. And just know that every single penny that is brought in by Patreon goes directly back into this channel. Normally, I do have a full time job. I don't use this money to survive on or anything like that. It just gets put directly back into the production of this channel. So a huge thank you to my current Patreons. Is it Patreon or Patron? I'm not sure. This is brand new to me. I have only had a Patreon account for a month. I don't even barely know what to do with it. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification bells. And do me a favor, smash that like button for me. And as always, I'll see you guys next Friday. <laughs>